Hi, everybody. Welcome to Ladies Power Launch. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's Ladies Power Lunch Coffee Break, and as our very special guest, I have joining us Jacqueline Kane, and I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Also in our Zoom studios today is Amy Young, and so Amy, why don't we give you an opportunity to just shout yourself out, say who you are, what your business is, and then once you're done, we can dive right into our conversation with Jackie. So Amy, who are you? What do you do? Sure. Oh, hi. How are you? I am driving. I'm almost at my destination. So I apologize for the horrible video. Um, I am Amy Flores Young. I am a travel planner who specializes in retreat travel planning for coaches. And um, I've met Jackie before and I can't wait to hear more. Awesome. And I feel like there is a pent up. I was on a group call with some other certified retreat leaders recently, and it seems like there is a pent up demand for retreats. Everybody needs that mental health break right about now. So I feel like, Amy, your services are going to be in very high demand in a very short time. Looking forward to... We're, we're hoping. <laughs> yep. Looking forward to that happening for you really, really soon. Yeah. Awesome. Great. So... Thank you so much for hopping on the call, Amy. And I want to say welcome to our special guest today, Jackie Keane. So Jackie, it is so nice that you said yes to our invitation to be on the show. Will you share with us who you are and what it is that you do in the world? Sure. And thank you for having me here, Davi. I, I love your connections and your groups, and they're always so they, you, you bring on really great, amazing speakers. So um, I'm a best-selling author, medical intuitive, and I specialize in stopping your pain now. And I help my clients do three things, liberate themselves from their past, live powerfully in the present moment so that they can love the life they get to create now. So I think those things are very important. And the one thing I been helping a lot of women do is get to the root cause of their physical pain. I think there's a lot of women who are in physical pain and they're trying many different tools and techniques and modalities and are not getting to the root cause of it. And what I help women do now is get to the root cause of their ancestral energy because I'm finding that that has a lot to do with what's keeping them stuck in pain and in debt and really impacting their lives to have, to live their rich life and create the life of their dreams. Interesting. So tell us, like, who is, who's the type of person who would be most greatly benefited from walking into your office and coming in to see you? Who is that optimal client for you? Yeah, mostly it's the women who have fibromyalgia. They may have arthritis where they've been living with physical pain for a long time and now it's chronic and everything they've tried hasn't been helping mm -hmm. and they're still living with it. Um, and, the, and they want to try something different. Okay. Yeah. I see. So how does how does what you do help people who are going through those kinds of really severe conditions? So when we look at the energy of thing to understand that we're all energy, right? I know you also help people get out of pain and you're dealing with the energy of the body because energetically we're all energetic beings. So when we're first conceived in our mother's womb, all of our ancestors' energy comes down and becomes us. It becomes our DNA. It becomes every cell in our bodies. Even epigenetics is looking at the energy of what's been passed down through our generations before us. So ancestral energy is the unresolved emotional issues that have come before us that our ancestors were living with and didn't resolve before they passed on. So it, it's getting passed down energetically. And so when we clear that, then people are able to 
have a, a chiropractic adjustment or a massage and actually let go of the pain where before they've been holding on to it and they haven't been able to get to the root cause. So if we look at ancestral energy, it actually impacts four major areas. Your ability to uh, live pain-free, your ability to create cash flow, your ability to have deep connected relationships, and also the ability to stand in your power. So if any areas of those are impacting your life, then you may wanna look at it differently and, and let's see what's underneath the physical pain and let's try something different to heal that. Okay, I see what you're saying. You know, I'm, um, I'm wondering if everything is going well with our audio. So I'm gonna ask you, can you hear me appropriately? Jackie, I can hear you. okay. How about you guys over on Facebook? Just pop a little note in the chat to let me know if you can hear us. Okay, yeah, they can hear us too. There was something going on funky with the audio, but now they can hear us. So, I had I had a very great opportunity when I was, you know, a fledgling entrepreneur, and it was it was really a wonderful experience for me because my mentor at the time told me that words don't teach, but stories are really, mm. really great at sharing information that you are trying to get across. So I think you saying that, okay, we have some ancestral energy that we probably need to release. It's great and intellectually, there are ways that we can see that that makes sense. But do you have any examples, any stories of ways that this has actually worked to help people in your experience? Yeah, so the reason I got into ancestral energy, the very first time I experienced it, before I went to this workshop, um, it was Christmas time and my sister-in-law had lost her mother, her sister, and the holidays were coming. And I said, hey, you know, let's just go away for Christmas. It's too devastating for what you've experienced. You're lonely. Your family's not here. Let's just go away. And my in-laws at that time were like, no, nope, we're not going, not going away. And I said, all right, I don't understand why, but I'll drop it. So I went to this um, ancestral energy workshop and immediately after the process, I was walking out of this conference hall and my phone started buzzing. And it was my son who said, I found a house for all 13 of us to go to Ireland. And I'm like, that's great, but we're not going, what are you doing? And then there were more conversations. My husband texted after that and said, yep, everybody's on board and we're gonna go. We're looking at airfare and everything started getting planned for that trip to Ireland. And I thought, what just happened? And it, it you know those times when something happens and you just have to take a step back and say, this was really important. I need to pay attention to this. So I started paying attention to those moments that of the energy in that moment, in that workshop, things completely shifted for the family. I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't even like, I wasn't even on my mind going through that process, but yet energetically things shifted in a way that it was amazing because we ended up having the best trip to Ireland that we ever had. And my mother-in-law still talks about it. She even wants to go back. <laughs> so um, sometimes when, some, when you're trying to reach a goal and you're just not reaching it, it's time to look at the energy around it. Time to look at what's the emotions, what's the block and and we can't see it sometimes. But when we step back and we're able to think about, well, how do I really feel about all this? And is that energy mine or is it somebody else's? 
um, because I was carrying energy from somebody else in that moment to, that got cleared. Mm, okay. Does that help? Yeah, that yeah. definitely does help. So that really shines a light on how clearing the energy can allow things that you're wanting in your life to move forward. You mentioned the energy clearing being helpful for pain conditions. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned it being a good idea for people who feel stuck financially. Do you have any stories about, say, clients who've had good results as a re result of working with you on clearing their energy yeah i recently had a new client and we worked we didn't even work on money and i love that when you look at the energy all things happen to clear up so we were just working on our health conditions and the energy around that and a week later when i talked to her she said i ended up getting a four thousand dollar grant that she wasn't even expecting so money can just show up without us really putting all this effort into it. Even another client who, um, there were a lot of people who had owed her money, but it was just stalled out. There wasn't any movement, it, it wasn't mm. coming through. And then after the clearing, she got like $6,000 just showing up. Um, there's, there's many more stories of even people have gotten <laughs> um, refunds from their tax. They overpaid in their taxes and money shows up. So it's just very interesting when we look at life from a different viewpoint. So I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit here. How, how is it happening that your blocked energy can also be blocking the people who should be paying you. Well, because in this session, so I'm looking at the energy. And when I look at the energy, it's either ancestral. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we look at money and finances, maybe we had a family member who was trying to get his business started, but it, he went into bankruptcy or it didn't work well. And he was holding all of this anger and resentment around the fact that he wasn't successful. Maybe angry at the people that owed him money. That energy and those beliefs, then we start to create beliefs that I'm not successful. It's not gonna work for me. Why bother? So all of that, and I call it like an energetic ball, right? That just gets passed down from one family member to the next. And then we take it on. And then we end up being in our 30s, 40s, and 50s and saying, well, it's not going to work for me. And when we ask, why is it not going to work for you? Where did you come up with that belief? And then we start saying, well, it's not really my belief, but I, my family used to say it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Like all those families that say, oh, don't, don't create a business. It didn't work for your uncle. It didn't work for your father. It's not going to work for you, right? Or Johnny's bad in, lo in love. He doesn't have good relationships. He can't find somebody to be, to be in love with him. And it just becomes the way of the family, and it's the truth and nobody questions it. Mm. So we believe it to be true. Yeah, you know, I, I am resonating quite a bit with this and it seems that so are our ladies over in the Facebook group seeing quite a few hearts and likes and also somebody asking if you're gonna do an energy clearing right here today. <laughs> So no, guys, we're not going to do that today. However, you are absolutely free to reach out to Jackie and I'm sure she'll be happy to fit you into her schedule. And somebody in the Ladies Power Lunch group was so kind to actually gift me with a session with you. So yes. I think that's something that I definitely need to get on the schedule. You mentioned two other things. You mentioned relationships. Let's talk a little bit about how 
the energy clearing can be helpful with relationships. I am a firm believer and I constantly, I'm like a broken record. I constantly <laughs> say to people, you can live your optimal life. You don't, most people have pretty much the people who are running in our circles, pretty much most things are going well in their lives, but they have one thing that's sort of a sticking point for them, whether it's their business or their relationship or their finances or something that's stuck. And I'm always suggesting to people that, hey, you can release that thing. It's okay. It can all be well. Everything mm. can be working out for you. So I am really happy that we're having this conversation because I feel like I'm not just a lone voice in the wind, <laughs> but like you actually believe this and feel this to be true as well. Can you talk a little bit about how um, clearing has helped people in your practice with relationships? Yeah, so relationships, um, especially in families where um, a mom may not be, she didn't have, so this one woman, she didn't have a great relationship with her daughter. Uh, it was strained and they didn't see each other that much. And when they did, it was awkward and frustrating. Um, and when we, we, after the clearing, she ended up spending the holidays with her daughter. Um, it was a few hours away from where she lived. And she came back and said, it was so transformational. They, they had gotten along. Her mother even bought them lunch, which usually mom always paid. Her daughter was just so much more giving and receptive and open to appreciating her mom in a brand new way. Um, there's even just more stories where the ickiness, right, in relationships where between siblings and between parents and even for myself i can talk even for myself that i came from a very chaotic family my mother came from world war ii in italy so she had a lot of challenges in her life and she had a lot of hardships so she was kind of closed and you know taught us to just be tough and push on um so that was a very hard relationship for me to have and over the years and doing this clearing, I now get to spend time with her and appreciate her and have compassion for her for where she's at. Instead of saying, why aren't you treating me the way I want to be treated? Um, it, there's just more compassion and love for her for all that she's been through. And, and we get to enjoy each other. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to you, show you this card. I don't know if you can see it. I intend to see the best in everyone. Yes. So it's interesting because I have pulled this card three times in a row, just <laughs> constantly keep pulling the same card. And I have these thought for the day cards. And, you know, you pull a card and you think on the thought and it's something that I try to use to guide my day. So I'm thinking, okay, when I'm walking into the patient's room to treat with my patients, I want to see the best in everybody and just kind of radiate that positive message of seeing seeing them in their best self mm -hmm. and it's just so interesting that you're talking about this with relationships because i really do believe that when we are able to see the best in the relationship even when the relationship isn't showing that to us in that moment it actually can transform the way the relationship shows up in the future so i like i like all that you're talking about with that you mentioned one last thing you mentioned standing in your power what does mm -hmm. that mean and how does that change with being clear with your energy so standing in your power is setting very clear boundaries for yourself so that you're not a doormat so that you're not over giving over yesing people over yesing oh, right yeah i like that one i might have to add that to my <laughs> <laughs> to my dictionary i'm sure this you, you also work with a lot of women in our communities. There's a lot of us who have been taught, you have to give, you have to do, do, do. You have to, no matter how you're feeling, you can't be selfish. You can't say no, you have to people please. And you become a people pleaser and you, 
you basically become a different person because you're not allowed, you grew up not being allowed to be yourself. And so you learn to people please and become somebody else to be in your tribe, in your family and around other people. So we've lost being who we are. So when I work with people and I say, what do you like doing? What fills you up? Many people don't have no idea, no idea. because I know <laughs> nobody's ever asked them that. Right. And I get it because when we're in abusive families or it's been really challenging our lives, we shut down what we like. We have no idea. And then we're like 30, 40, 50 years old and we're lost. So now we have to like stand, be comfortable standing in our power because we've spent decades giving our power away. So standing in our power is saying no when I mean no, saying yes when I mean yes, setting boundaries, stepping into understanding that I matter and it's not selfish. It's just be me, me because I deserve it because I'm a living, breathing person and everybody deserves that. Absolutely. I love that. So tell us a story about somebody who you are able to see that transformation in their lives and how it's benefited them. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, there's so many, but one, one woman, um, she just learned at an early age to just take care of other people mm -hmm. and put everybody else's needs before her own. And then she found herself, her husband passed away and she's dealing with an accountant who's not answering her, not giving her phone calls, not following up. These are important things that have to happen. And so she's been healing her past and stepping more in her power and things are just opening up for her. She even, um, so the accountant, she's finding the right accountant who is going to help her sell the house and move forward. Because you got to have the right people in your corner who are going to help you create the life of your desires. Um, so all these things are just falling into place. You become more aligned with your soul's desire and then things just show up out of the blue. And out of the blue, she has a business. She wasn't planning on selling it. Somebody showed up and said, I'd like to like to buy your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was like, I wasn't even planning on that, but it's an idea right now. So it's different when you're standing in your power and owning who you are. I absolutely adore all these stories. We're coming up on time. So before you go, will you share with us just one last word of wisdom? If there is nothing else that we take away from our conversation today, what do you want people to know? I want everybody to know that you matter. You being you matter to the people in your life. And as you become more of who you are, you give people permission to be who they are. So do whatever you have to do to own who you are and go after your dreams. And how can people connect with you? Do you have anything going on right now? Any programs or specials or any way that people can take advantage of the plethora of services that you offer? So they can find me. I have a, a healing circle by Jacqueline Kane group. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing 100 days of self-love. I am on day 79, I believe, of that. Oh, wow. And, and a new book, Ancestors Within, which is coming out in May. I'm uh, taking pre-orders for that book right now. Awesome. So you want people to join your Facebook group and pre-order your book. What's your website? My website is JacquelineMCain.com. So it's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E-M-K-A-N-E.com. Right. Thanks for the spelling lesson because <laughs> this girl was never the spelling bee champion. You might, <laughs> you might not realize it, but I really wasn't. So thanks. That's awesome. And I'll invite you to, you know, pop into the Ladies Power Lunch group and just drop your information there so that people who are watching on the replay, they can find you when they need you. This was a very eye-opening conversation. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one who 
really believes firmly that we can live our optimal lives. It is possible. And sometimes there's some things we have to let go of. And that's the key. That's the next step to us being a better version of ourselves. Thank you so much, Jackie. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everybody who joined us today, both over here on Zoom and also all those wonderful comments that we've been getting over on our Facebook group. I invite you guys to stay tuned to this channel because coming up at 1230, we continue with a Friday party. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next show. Bye.